Hello, another video. It's gorgeous, gorgeous winter day here. Uh, it's, it's kind of kind of chilly, 12 minus degrees, but the sun is shining in full force, and uh, it's actually been almost a week that the sun hasn't uh, shined. It's interesting, uh, yesterday was um, Paavon päivä in Finland, uh, names day of Paavo or Paul, there's other names, but it's uh, normally called Paavon päivä, Paavo's day. And in Finland, uh, in the countryside, in the olden age, uh, lots of days, lots of times during the, the year cycle were very important uh, and there were kind of festivities that uh, are now forgotten. Nowadays there's just Midsummer Fest and uh, Easter and uh, Christmas whatnot but there used to be a lot of a lot of festivities also outside of those main uh, celebrations and one important moment in the year cycle uh, was the day of Paavo, and then the point, the the meaning of the day was that that was taught as a kind of a, the center of the winter, but also kind of a you could say like the the backbone of the winter was broken in in Paavon Paavon Paiva. So the kind of the winter is starting to get over. It's not yet over, but it's kind of it has this kind of optimism feel, and it was also. People observed in the Pavon Päivä a lot uh, the weather, so there's lots of superstitions uh, to do with Pavon Päivä, as there is with almost every single uh, festivities in the, in the in the year cycle. But for example, one is that if if there's a warm southern wind uh, during Pavon Päivä, it's going to be great uh, berry and and mushroom harvest. That's one thing, and there's many things and actually it was kind of warm <laughs> so let's see if, if the mushroom season is going to be as great as last year I doubt it <laughs> but nevertheless uh, it's interesting these kind of uh, uh, ideas of the olden age and the meaning of the year cycle was completely different and had so much more importance than nowadays people even think about it so so yesterday was in a sense uh, the center of the winter and kind of the the winter's back was broken. But anyways, um, actually now the sun is shining in full force. Oh yeah, there's one thing also in Paavon Päivä. Uh, uh, in the Paavon Päivä was thought to be the first day in the year that even though it can be as cold as 20 minus degrees, you feel the warmth of the sun. And now when the sun is shining here I actually feel it so there's just ever slight warmth with the sun so I can imagine that this, this kind of uh, days were important for people back in the days there was kind of an optimism and uh, waiting for the spring has started in a sense but anyways uh, there's a knife that I want to show and uh, I've been now using it a couple of weeks and uh, have quite a bit of say uh, quite a bit to say about this knife so this is the Puko by Kivalo design here you see the, the logo where to start um, first of all I never seen a design quite like this. So there's a history in Finland to do animal themed pukkos. Isaki Järvenpä Martini, you have a brass kind of metal, you have a bear or eagle or whatnot. So it's it's that's not anything out of the ordinary. But I never actually seen this type of quite like this. So 
you have like the animal uh, can't seem to get it focused sorry uh, here yeah the, so this is the black grouse teri in Finnish so you have it carved into the handle and this is in my opinion very very interesting uh, I've been seeing these models or these this, this knives for quite some time and I was very curious about this and uh, I wanted to have one this I mainly bought as a neck knife for me so I have it on the neck here I told in the in the short video that I did that this could be kind of a very nice winter neck knife and now I have been using it for that and it is great for that it really is uh, yeah so it, it, it in my opinion it's very nicely designed so it's very pretty it's a very pretty knife you have this almost like a arrow point if you look at it like this it's nice uh, nice lines the blade shape is also kind of uh, original haven't seen not so often this type of uh, blade design uh, kind of high the scandy very pointy tip uh, been testing it with food prep actually quite nice uh, nicely done all the red painted wood parts so the dimensions are great but I'm not really if the knife wouldn't work I wouldn't do a review if, if this knife wouldn't also be practical so uh, I'm not kind of a uh, reviewing uh, artwork in the sense but uh, at best Pukos and many other knives can ha have this uh, aesthetic or definitely has the aesthetic appeal and the fit and finish is very nice you don't feel anything this is to the perfection actually it's very nice uh, so you have the red red team kind of a repeating you have the stitching the red Yeah, so I, I really dig this. Uh, as a concept, it's one of those knives uh, that really combines the practicality and beauty, in my opinion. So now I have been using it as a neck knife, and it really, really is good because, first of all, I actually, I, I definitely bought it as a neck knife because this doesn't have a dangler. 80 millimeters long the blade, so it's kind of EDC, so you can have it on the belt sure but I, I prefer it as a neck knife and not to have the dangler also is nice for a for a neck knife and this retention is very nice this is not in a million years going to drop so awesome the leather sheath and one thing that I find kind of remarkable and very practical that I really really like to carry this for example now I'm just doing here kind of a few hours trip uh, I have some uh, some uh, lunch with me and uh, thermos with, with tea but to have this on the neck knife is as a neck knife is nice because I have here a mittens but I can very easily grab this from the sheath I can use this part here which is also a part of the design as as a help when I'm taking it out of the sheath so with them with the mittens on no problem and then you have a, a handle shape that is kind of also original so it, lots of things with this knife are kind of original but yet, yet, yet again very traditional so it doesn't feel gimmicky uh, a bit so it feels traditional but then it's something totally new so that is something which I like so but the handle shape is interesting because uh, it's kind of filling so it's, it's on the larger side which is great uh, with with uh, working with gloves so you have a very nice control with this so totally one of the one of the best uh, knives that I have with gloves on, really. I like the feel of the hand, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. And you're talking about like 
EDC type of blade. So great. Uh, but then it's interesting, it has this kind of... Uh, first of all, everything is done so beautifully. So all these uh, shapes of the handle, so there's no... I feel like there's no shortcuts. Ah, the auto focus is a bit weird sometimes. There's no short, shortcuts in a way, so there's nice contouring with the handle. And it's interesting, it's kind of high the the handle shape ah hit the autofocus it's kind of high but then again a bit slim so especially with the gloves on very 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 nice and very generous also the length so all the dimensions the practicality just works it does good good feathers i might put here a uh, footage of feathers also This feels like a delicate knife. I like <coughs> the grind a lot because for me, I very well could see this as a mushroom knife for me. So to have this kind of a bit of a higher scandy and uh, in that sense, that bit slicer, uh, that bit better in slicing, it makes this maybe a very nice combination. So you, you have the ability of doing feathers you have the ability of, of, of carving but then uh, it's just a bit a bit more slicey than let's say very low scandy would be it's great with carving great with feathers nice control nice in the hand so it, it's practical knife like I said as a neck knife maybe as a mushroom knife could see using this the design so it's just knife in my opinion that everything kind of works here and then it's also kind of interesting and I find it to be pretty and well done uh, the kind of the proportions of the of the animal figure black grouse I haven't put it to amazing test the steel uh, it's 80 crv2 would tend to think that it's going to be quite nice the steel uh, but yet i haven't yet pushed it uh, that much so the fit and finish great pretty design uh there's a, you can see there's a lots of labor of of doing this by hand so and it's not the most cheap book of course not but here you kind of pay for the for the craftsmanship. Yeah. So I guess that's it. Continuing here. Great, great little EDC neck knife. And uh, something which I haven't quite seen before. So nice, nice new idea on a traditional kind of with the traditional background still yeah so thanks for watching and uh have an awesome weekend cheers